I am with Matt from Mantic. Hello. And uh, he's just been dragging me around the, well, I've been making him <laughs> the uh, casting resins, the production areas at Mantic, because it's been it has been great fun. I've seen yeah. some awesome stuff, um, which I actually can't wait to share with you. And yes. some which I wish I'd seen a week ago, because then I could have yeah. used <laughs> that. But it's, it's cool, it's cool. And some stuff you're not allowed to tell anyone about from threat of death. Yeah, so. I know. So there's this one bit where... Anyway, so that's going to be really exciting when that finally happens. Um, but we're look <laughs> sorry. I thought, we, I thought we talked about this. <laughs> but right now we're looking at some of the new Abyssal Dwarves because they look awesome. Mm. So we've been knocking around the casting area for the the resins. What's this little chap called again? This little. So icon he's called the Hexacaster. So the Hexacaster. And I've got him. I've got him the wrong way around. There's some new troops in here. Completely new troops. I'm, I've got to get the book because Abyssal him. Dwarves isn't something I've looked at before. So he, because he's on a, he has a little flight base. To put this, and if you followed the the Mantic <laughs> Facebook page, you can have seen oh. some of these. So that's a hero unit. The Hexacaster is a hero unit. Um, there we go. It's a it's a caster. It has a hex three, weakness three for plus twenty points or free if it replaces hex. So you can. He's a debuffer, by yeah. the way. So he's unpleasant and evil. Um, so we saw some of these being cast. The banner that he's carrying, the flaming banner, is floating above his head. Yeah, which That's is cool. really, really cool. Obviously, he's on a yeah, on a flight uh, flight base stick. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and so yeah, it's a it's a cool little thing to the mini that we haven't really seen before. Yeah, the like transparent stick holding it above, because obviously there's lots of flyers that are mounted on top yeah. of these. But we have a unit with one on top of the unit, which yeah. that's very <laughs> cool. Um, it makes it very striking. Um, and then we've got these, I believe, new for Vanguard? Yeah, so they, they come in the, this one is the Cornox uh, with the big magma cannon. Um, so that Infernox, Infernox yeah. um, is another hero unit, large infantry, brutal crushing strength and nimble. Nimble and thunderous charge. Three plus melee, six plus defense. He's an Jeez. absolute unit. Yeah. <laughs> so he's, he's a large infantry, tough as nails, nimble and brutal and crushing yeah. strength. Abyssal Dwarves got some serious pimp going on. Yeah, they're getting popular around here, so... <laughs> yeah, and I really look forward to seeing... I would love to have an Abyssal Dwarf army, but got my poor... I think I'm going to I'm gonna have to steal some of them and say they're turncoat, turncoats because I need them in my Dwarf army. <laughs> <laughs> would they... Maybe they would. Well, I don't know. Um, so yeah, two two brand new sculpts for heroes. Mm -hmm. Sorry, these two units. Yep. Um, big beastie boy. That's gonna be a monstrous infantry on a fifty base. That one is. Yeah, it's gotta be. Um, also, well, monstrous something or other. Yeah. Um, then you've got your brand new sculpt. For, uh, so is the immortal guardian. Yep. Who looks beautiful. Yeah. They're I know a lot cloak. of people are excited about these diminutive, diminutive little. The, the little rat dudes. slaves. Uh, yeah, they're obviously the. The sculpts are absolutely amazing, and they just look so angry. I like that they've still got the downward stabby hand from yeah. like the dead zone rats. Oh yeah, so they, they <laughs> kept that. it's. I mean, you've got to because I mean, it's the best way to be. And there's your rat splatter, the, the carnival dude. Oh yeah, playing the. Do you remember whack? Was it whack? What's it was the thing where they uh, drop it down the tube? Oh, it was uh, the. It wasn't it was whack a mole. It's like a ferret. Splatter thing. rat or something. Splatter rat. Splatter rat. I think it has multiple names. Yeah, and and basically you wait to swing <laughs> as it comes down. That's, that's why you meant that's the bell one. Ding. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> you put a rat on that. That's gross. You, you, it was um, a, a I game. Know which one you, you mean? Yeah, down a drain pipe. Yeah. And, like, and you, you had to hit it. it. Yeah. And then you'd win like a twizzle stick. I've got to find out what it's called now. Okay. <laughs> I digress. Yep. Yeah. So the, the the carnival team there. With yeah. The slave rats and uh, you also I love this this guy with his little poking stick. Yeah, he's absolutely amazing. So is he a sharpshooter of sorts? So he, he has a. It appears to be like a rifle that he's holding. Yes. So he he's built as a mobile Katsu Chan Katsu Chan Katsu Chan uh, tongue um, twister. <laughs> yeah. Which is basically just they're not blunderbusses, they're not short range, they're now long range troops. Yeah. Which is that it looks really cool. That does. Yeah, absolutely. Right. The um, spear gun, basically. Yeah, I mean that's just a selection, but there are um, we've got some sprues for the actual just general troops. So these guys are they decimators or are they? So um, these are black souls that can be built as decimators as right. well. So can be uh, built as the range as per the. Oh, actually no, the previous the normal dwarves didn't have that. They had 
um, Iron Watch and yeah. separate sprues. So yeah, well, I mean, much like the Northern Alliance and the Night Stalkers, yep. what I start doing is giving you the option on the sprue. Yep. Uh, and on this also, you get the two mutated Mastiffs. Yes, uh, yeah. So they have their Mastiff Packmaster, but yeah. they're mutated. Um, which again, all new sculpts. So these are new plastics, mm. um, which look ace. I think, yeah, you can, you can definitely see if we pop it here. You've got the heads on your sprue, I've got the bodies on this one. Yeah. Um, we'll have to pop up a picture. Yeah, we will. We'll pop a picture of that. Uh, but there's there's loads going on in the Mantic casting rooms and stuff. It's just insane right now. Um, these sculpts, they're bigger. They're much more detailed. They're awesome. But they get bigger, don't yeah. they? We, <laughs> we saw the most expensive 3D printed... Yeah, we think it might be the most expensive yeah. 3D print we've done. Um, so. And see, so yeah, we're, we're adding more details to the minis. Right. We're obviously, especially with the Titans, stuff like the Phoenix, we're making them bigger because you've really got to fit the name Titan. Yeah. Uh, you, you can't go building like a giant and then it not be giant. So <laughs> Yeah, this uh, is true. And especially when we're doing more of these monstrous, like um, obviously lava cannon wielding boys. Yeah. Then it's, <laughs> you, need, you need to make them big and detailed. And obviously the Titan that we're talking about was the Halfane. Yes. Right? So the Halfane is incredibly large. Oh yeah. Um, so it's only in a 3D print prototype at the moment, mm -hmm. from what I understand. Um, and as a unit, it's a beast. Uh, yeah. It's, um, well, it can be upgraded to give like an aura, giving wild charge to everybody. It, it's got everything you'd expect it to yeah, have. Yeah, you it's get the, the aura, the aura brutal as well. Um, so, but just for dwarfs. So you can't yeah. be giving that to like your, your rat slaves. They don't, yeah. they're not having it. It's for dwarfs only. It inspires the dwarfs to yeah. be more brutal. And that oh, comes yeah. a, a stop. That's yeah. not part of an upgrade for it, which is insane. Mm. Um, and these, well, these are all dropping quite soon. I think some of them are pre-order already. Yeah, so we're looking at February, March, uh, and with Vanguard related, there's going to be like uh, like the other stuff. There's going to be a starter and a booster. Yep. Uh, so in the booster, you're going to get your uh, Cornox, Jonox. I need to get my pronunciation <laughs> right. Your Hex Caster and your uh, Immortal Guardian. Okay. And then in- That's the booster. Yeah, that's the booster. Yeah. So that's your like, hero units to pad yeah. out your starter like set. Like in the Northern Alliance when you get your Swish basketball player. Swish basketball player. Ice Queen. Yeah. Uh, the, I think it's a <laughs> vegan. And then we're gonna look at her in the other way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're Thegan and you're, you're Frostfang, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's usually like three units, isn't it? Yeah, and then in your uh, starter set, you get the 10 Black Souls that can be made into Decimator. So the, the sprue, Along with that are the two mutated Mastiffs. Uh, the mobile Katsu, Katsu Chan launcher, which is your, your spear boy here, and an overlord who is just power armor. Yeah. He, he looks like an absolute tank. He is beast. Uh, so, slave? No slave? No slaves no in that. Slave. They're going to come out as uh, separate units uh, that you can pick up. So, because we really wanted to, for Vanguard especially, oh. they're dwarfs. Abyssal yeah. dwarfs are coming. Uh, and and so obviously with the sprue, as said before, you get that option to build as you like. If you wanted yeah. a few more range units, you can. If you wanted to just go full blown, just charge in there with some abyssal dwarfs. It seems we're going that way, and I really like it that you get ten units on a sprue, and the ability to build them as ranged or melee. Yeah. Um, and I touched on videos earlier, mm. where we've done some other filming, um, <laughs> to do with. What struck me with the Northern Alliance, mm. if I bring my Northern Alliance in, for example, which I have to the side, um, the Pack Hunters. Now, Pack Hunters, which I'll just pop them here. They probably don't want this in their <laughs> rear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, getting a bit nervous. Yeah. Um, <laughs> build options for the Pack Hunters or the Clansmen are sword and board, mm. various axes and swords, or the spears. Now, the base Pack Hunter unit is a bow and arrow unit. Yeah. And uh, I was having a little rant about this earlier. <laughs> Until a few minutes ago, when we saw the casting wheel, oh yeah, there are upgrade sprues going to be coming for the Northern Alliance to replace the spears with bows and arrows, which is an interesting one because I suppose it is a downgrade from what the default build is. Yeah, um, but not without its um, bonuses because I mean those sprues increase the range. Yeah. But they lose the steady for the steady aim. So yeah, they it's about and spear. like bouncing the the point um, difference, which is interesting because. Obviously, you get the um, the ice skin hunters already who use bows. Yeah. Um, so this will be an interesting one. Cheaper points. Um, it doesn't make them a non 
uh, irregular unit though. Yeah. Which is interesting. But also, not just that, your uh, snow boys. Snow boys. Snow boys <laughs> coming in here. Bye bye rats. Be very, I, I, I'm really scared to touch a lot of these. Uh, I would be too. Don't worry. <laughs> Herodes handiwork. Oh, yeah, absolutely amazing. There we go. <laughs> The uh, sword and board boys, as you guys may well know, can be upgraded to use two-handers Yeah, is an option for them. Now, there are also two-handers yeah. coming for an upgrade. <laughs> so you basically have four ways now of building those clansmen. Yeah, and, and just giving them the option, obviously people are going to want different things in their army, mm -hmm. people are going to find out what they really like in their army and what yeah. works. So uh, giving those upgrade kits to an already nice customizable sprue that we're starting to do and yeah. carrying on with with the abyssal dwarfs is is what the way we want to go really i like it i'm a big fan of uh kidding my army out to be as close to like the well wizzy wig as, yeah. as you can <laughs> um i don't like having sword and board and saying no, I'm the exact same. um not that it makes any difference really but i just i prefer it to look how it is so i mean you might um, as well and giving people that option is is what we really want to do and i do have about 30 spare clansmen from, from <laughs> building so yeah, what a show <laughs> gonna be getting some bows and arrows even if it's just for a set of 10 and then some two-handers so i will be most interested in having these with two-handers yep with a lord um oh, yeah. extra power less defense <laughs> it, it's it's opening I mean, you can play them as that anyway. I'm, I'm saying it's it like they're not available yet. Power. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll, I will be more inspired as, yeah. as a war chief <laughs> to do that. Yeah, when, when people see them, they, they come out. So keep an eye on the blog as well. Yeah. Uh, you'll you'll see them there first. And um, these these upgrade kits, are they metal c component parts? I believe. I believe they are, they are metal. Because I've seen them in the spin wheels, yeah. the casting wheels. If you're someone with Bobby, they're metal. Yep. Then, uh, then yeah, they'll be metal as an add-on. Okay. Um, uh, if not, we're going to correct it. <laughs> they may be metal. If not, <laughs> they exist. They exist. <laughs> That's the point there. Um, along with the Vanguard army for the Northern Alliance, mm. although it's new, yeah. it's being re-released. Um, oh, yeah. So that's actually for pre-order already. Yeah, that's on the, that's on the website. Not breaking any rules there. No, no, no. There's no, <laughs> there's no laser pointers on you. Yeah. <laughs> that's um, so that has obviously always had three dwarves in it, or mm -hmm. five dwarves, I believe, in it. Yeah. Um, of the older units. Yeah. They the new ones for the Northern Lions look oh, awesome. Yes. They look cool. They've got like they're like pole axes with the ice pikes. tips. Yeah. yeah. Um, so they're replacing that, and the box itself is is not a huge amount else changing. It's being tidied up a bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just about refining it, and and obviously we wanted to update the the, yeah. the dwarf sprues anyway. And you get ten clansmen because you get your sprue here, which means you'll get yeah. two snow foxes. Yeah. Snow foxes. Snow, snow foxes. Fox. You said it right this time. I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two snow foxes in there. Um, two two snow foxes. What you got? Were they fitting? Just, just oh, they're just, the they're just tucked on the edge there. there. <laughs> um, as well, which is cool. Uh, I'd like to see them in Vanguard. Yeah. As a, I'd like to see more swarms in Vanguard. Uh, you yeah, know. I mean, it, it opens up to it because it is that, that smaller, more contained yeah. fight. You, it, it should open it up into, in the future. Like um, the Dead Zone Piper rat with oh, his swarms yeah. of rats. I'd like to see <laughs> like a, a Night Stalker something with a swarm as as like a... I know, don't know if I do. It could, it could make a really interesting Vanguard game. Yeah. Like fighting, because like the Undead or Raising Dead, Raising Dead, that's close to swarming. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the Undead are, are really good at that. Just keep throwing people yeah. at you, which are quite, quite weak. I know Ricky Arcaster loves them. <laughs> <laughs> so you need lots of models to play the Undead. Yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's there's loads of stuff coming. But it was just really nice to get into the creation area. And mm. um, the guys at Mantic are just so excited about what they're working on. Oh, yeah. Which I mean, because cool. we, we went in just to get some B roll. And, and <laughs> yeah. it was like, oh, no, we've got this now. And it was really. It was <laughs> yeah, so this video was literally just. We, we went in to get some B roll to talk about the new releases. Yeah. And we've ended up with basically a whole <laughs> spoiler <cast>. list <laughs> yeah. of what's coming and how, a guide on how to cast resins. Yeah, I'm going to be frantically checking if you can say any of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I'm terrible. Rob's, Rob's coming back from America and he's like, what has he done? <laughs> <laughs> like, Don't worry, you guys were. We thought running was bad <laughs> <laughs> you'll have the um the sick off before this goes live yeah <laughs> if this video is more than eight minutes long 
<laughs> we did good. If yeah. you're watching a two minute to three minute long video, yeah, just a bump around I'm seven really seconds. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm more sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you can't just, leave me alone. We'll just wait until everything's been released. Yeah. And then we'll release the video. <laughs> then we'll read it. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to move these out of the way because you guys probably came here to see the Abyssal Dwarves, right? Well, if, yeah, we'll throw up. I'll, I'll have to send you over the amazing photography by our, our photographer, Ben, uh, which shows them in detail that we're on the Mantic Facebook page as well. Yes, because... you did release like a gallery of them yes. on Facebook. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they just look great. And it's just another chance to have a look at them sort of in the flesh. Yeah. Like on a full sort of 360. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> I just love... These are Studio Herodas? Yes. I mean, as, yep. as you can tell, yeah. they, are, they are absolutely ridiculous. He's, he's been posting some pictures of them as well. So, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, we're trying, trying new things and obviously updating the dwarfs sprue, but adding the little details. I, I, I mean, that's my favorite, <laughs> my favorite thing, like the flight stick, just the yeah. adding another little dimension to it. Cause it's, well, if you were to put the old sculpts and side by side with these, yeah. there's a huge increase in the, the detail oh, yeah. of just the, I mean, just yeah. They deserve the the upgrade because mm. they're and now if if you ask anyone what their next army is around here, it's, it's, it's like oh abyssal dwarfs, yeah. Yeah. And as I said, I'm definitely stealing some, not for abyssal dwarfs. I'm going to steal them for regular dwarfs as well. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so as, especially with the vanguard composition, you get you get yeah. a nice little fun selection of, yeah. of, of boys. A visually varied army always looks cool on the table yeah and especially when you start incorporating those rats in there um it's you, you've also got you you got in power armor you've got just gigantic molten cannons they're just beasts aren't they? yeah uh and and so it should be fun both to play with but also paint with the lava i really want to see what people do with that um, i would like to see um World of Warcraft Green Infernal Ooh. colors. I was thinking blue lava as well. Uh, yeah. I mean, you can do a lot with it. <laughs> like the, sort of green infernal fire, fell flame sort of color. <laughs> that would be cool. That would be cool. That would be cool. <laughs> um, otherwise, blue, very, what, like super hot blue. Super hot. Yeah. <laughs> that would be cool as well. I mean, I might have to give one a go because it just looks fun to paint. I just don't think I've got the skill. It, yeah, I mean, I might not show it on camera, but. <laughs> It'll, It'll be, be fun cool. to do. I bet you could get some very vibrant colours on that. Yeah. As well. well, yeah, it's made it made the flames pop, which is one of the hardest things to do. But he did our phoenix, so yeah. yeah I mean, if you're going to trust anyone, yeah, this is true. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's a little sneak preview of some of the new dwarves. Yeah. Um, and like we've had the look around the casting areas for you guys mm -hmm. to enjoy as well. So I hope you've enjoyed taking a peek at that. They've enjoyed um, going on camera, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> we hide him away. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, the Mandy guys have loved having a chance to show off what they, they really like doing. And it yeah. really comes across uh, when, when you go chat to them. So um, we'll just play you out with a little bit of a enjoy what we've looked at today. Bye. <laughs> Goes in. Yeah, I'm far enough back. in the box. So those just peel off fairly easily. So phantoms in this one. Oh. So they just pop out nice and easy. So they have numbers on which anyone who's built them will know ones and twos. Desks. All of this is the Hellfane. Right. That whole thing? Yeah. Oh that is so many pieces. <laughs> not even going to ask you to air hold that one together. Uh, and that's not, even all, <laughs> that's not even all the pieces. Oh no, there it is. There's another piece down there. Tiny piece that got stuck in the bottom of the... Uh... Oh well. Wow. So just for a scale shot... So what is that? That's the, that is the part of the body of a grotesque. Yeah. So they are big. Wow. They even do it the right way up. So that's they are, you know, they are big, big. 
Anyway. I think people did not realise quite how big the grotesques are. Yeah, they're huge. Before they're freed Some from their silicon prison. Hefty, hefty weight.